All right, in this video, I want to talk about the use of data two. And we've talked about it a few times in the past, but this is, uh, this is a great use of this knob. And it's something you can really do to add a performance uh, capability to a simulator for live performance and jamming. So in this example, we're going to work with this sample right here. I've got it in one shot mode. Nice little keyboard pad. All right, so I'll just turn it off here just really quick. So you can set this thing to be a modulator on any of these CVs. So again, adding a real performance jam ability kind of a level to a simulator. So you can set it in channels. Down here at the bottom, you see that data two right here is set to off. So I can set it to anything I want, any, you know, any one of the CVs in the matrix. So let's make it be to one A. All right. And then I'd like to make one A B. Okay. So see, for some reason it's on channel eight. So we need to go to channel one. All right. channel one, and I'm going to set it to pitch. Let's control pitch with this guy. So I'm going to go to 1A. So I basically told it that 1A is being modulated by this guy. Instead of an LFO or something else coming in, or some cool program CV, it's going to be modulated by this guy. All right. So now, this is important. You want to hit this twice and go back to the home screen. And the reason is that if you stay on one of these and start moving this for adjusting pitch, where I'm selected is where it's going to be moving it. So I don't want that. So the only way to get out of that is to be here. Because if you're here, or maybe there, and you start tweaking this, you're going to change your sample. Once you're here, you're in the clear. Okay, so if I put it on loop, and I trigger my sample, now my pitch modulation is with the data tune up. So you could turn this way down and have a long droning sound bed. Or I think that a great use of this might be to set it to bit depth and run a drum loop through it or a drum sample through it and then have this be a great jammable knob for knocking down bit depth for a drum loop. So in that case, you would go to pitch, take it off of off of pitch and you'd go to mutate to bit depth and set that to 1A. I'm not going to do it on this vocal sample because I think it'll sound awful. But anyway, that's how you do it.